the emoji movie, 1 out of 10, consider adding a 0 rating, absolutely terrible my wife left and took the kids because of this movie. 1 out of 10, this movie should be considered a crime against humanity. <laughs> that is so adorable I can't take it! 1 out of 10, I've lost my will to live. Sharknado, 10 out of 10, so deep, should be called 12 angry sharks. Shrek, 10 out of 10, God's work, this movie is what God has been waiting millions of years for. Dinosaurs didn't make Shrek so he killed them, but one man understood what God made us for. 10 out of 10, fantastic, Shrek is undoubtedly the greatest movie ever made and anyone who denies this should be sent to some kind of prison and then shot. 10 out of 10, what does God look like, this is a simple question, with a simple answer, Kevin James riding a segue while making hilarious but also thoughtful political comments on modern socio-economic issues. Come on Paul, fine guy. <coughs> I'm not these nachos, I tell you that much. 10 out of 10. Godly, this film has made my life better. The moment I turned it on, I was showered in money and women. My company took off, and all the businesses I invested in skyrocketed. Thank you Paul Blart. Interstellar. 1 out of 10. What a waste of space. This truly is a shocking movie and must rank as the worst sci-fi film I have ever had the misfortune to waste 2.5 hours on. The Grand Budapest Hotel, 1 out of 10, what on earth was this movie, never did I think that I would ever be enough intrigued by the awfulness of movie to create an account just to write a review about it, I can't possibly understand how some people would ever enjoy such a movie, so boring and lacking an interesting story, let alone the fact that it's not even funny, I felt sorry for the crowd watching the movie with us, I could feel the pain in their eyes and I could hear the prayers inside their heads hoping that the movie gets better, I mean come on. The Godfather, 1 out of 10, a borefest from beginning to end, I saw this movie when it first came out in the movie theaters, it was the first movie I seriously considered walking out of, up to that point in my life I had never fidgeted so much in a movie, I blame the director, his pacing was so ponderous that the story seemed to go on and on and I could hardly wait for it to be over, the whole Godfather series is vastly overrated. The Wolf of Wall Street, 1 star, there were no wolves in the movie. Trolls World Tour, I'm a 56 year old former law enforcement professional who has no interest in watching trolls. Midsummer, someone should have escape. The Invisible Man, I like the girl who plays the main lead, but I had a hard time judging the performance of her tormentor, couldn't really see him. The Emoji Movie, I have an aggressive niece who likes to pick fights at her elementary school, and she even bit one of her classmates last August, as punishment, she had to watch this, and she hasn't even raised a fist since. The Lighthouse, our group left the cinema 10 minutes into this movie when we understood it was in black and white, after some bartering with the manager, and departing, we got a last minute swap for Jumanji, in full color. Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, Awful, looks like it was filmed in the 70s. The Shining, Jack is rude, the dude is just rude throughout the movie. Joker, we booked seat C7 and E8 in the middle row, as conveyed to us by the picture house computerized booking system, however, upon our arrival our hopes were dashed to find ourselves situated 4 rows back from the center. Cats, Taylor Swift as a cat has changed my life, now when I see a particularly good looking cat I see Taylor Swift and I just want to dip my paws into it slash her. Cats, no peanut M&Ms in the cinema, there were no peanut M&Ms available in the cinema. Hobbs and Shaw, was looking for Calvin and Hobbs. The lighthouse, it's black and white for no reason, it's also a squarish picture. 
the Iron Giant, I will never buy anything from Amazon ever again. The movie worked fine but it could not even survive my VHS player. I won't upgrade to Purple Ray. My grandson says it'll give me hemorrhoids. Click. This fixed my intimacy problems with my wife. My wife and I have been having issues in the bedroom and now all I have to do to get both of us in the mood is turn on click. Once upon a time in Hollywood, lacking in the gratuitous violence that people seem to love in Tarantino movies, but then I only made it halfway through. Little women, they are not women, they are not women, they are children. Once upon a time in Hollywood. In time wasted. Precious eating time wasted. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, another movie with an agenda trying to indoctrinate their viewers. Note that they discuss the sad loss of Admiral Akbar. You can bet that name is no coincidence. It's a trap. First man. There wasn't any aliens. Elf, creeper vibe, am I the only one that is creeped out by these guys in tights? They purposely didn't cover their private areas, disgusting Hollywood creeper vibe. Home Alone 2, they are criminals but nobody deserves to be hit in the head over and over again by a brick. Home Alone 5, the holiday heist, my son is not allowed to choose the movies for one year after choosing this, I've had enough of his movie choices. Goodfellas, I rented this movie because this dude that comes in my work was in it, I couldn't find him, one star. Frozen, I don't like the title, this is a great movie and all but why is it called Frozen, they should have called it cold or something. Aquaman. Why is he wearing jeans in the ocean? Taken 3. I'm beginning to think he's just a bad parent. Airbud, Not the movie I was expecting. No dogs. No dunking. Just Harvey Keitel smoking crack to techno music with a lot of weird religious imagery. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. My little rad children rented this movie without my permission. Glen Gary Glen Ross, not relevant to the type of consultative selling I do whatsoever, I'm in sales and I hate salesmen that lie, old school sales, preferred seeing something that will help me sell now. Avengers Endgame, everything has superpowers, every character seemed to have a crazy superpower. The Jungle Book, 1 star, it's a film not a book very disappointed, not a book, despite being labeled as a book. This product is actually a disc, the jungle disc would have been a more appropriate title. No book, this movie doesn't have a book anywhere in it. Frozen, not a Disney movie, definitely not for young children. Wrong film, not for Disney fans. Pan's Labyrinth, foreign language. Blade Runner, 2019 Los Angeles does not have flying cars, cloned people nor off-world colonies. Pet Cemetery, very misleading, not enough pets. Freddy vs Jason, Superman would kill both of these boneheads, Freddy and Jason would never stand a chance against the Man of Steel. The Trump prophecy, Jesus wins, I knew in my soul Trump was going to win, I heard a voice saying Donald Trump would win, love this movie. If you don't believe President Donald J. Trump wasn't sent to us from God then you are a fool. Hotel Transylvania 3, no boobs. Hocus Pocus, the cabal's favorite movie, a perfect example of Hillary Clinton and her practices. This is supposed to be family friendly but it is by far the opposite, it is a cheeky way for them to expose you to child sacrifice for their gain of power, these people are sick. Jaws, I'm 35 and have witnessed 7 sharks destroyed by being blown up. The shark was blown up at the end of this film and it wasn't very realistic. There will be blood, there was almost no blood in the whole movie. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, we were unaware that this movie was just an animation. Shazam, I prefer the Shaq version. 
it, where is part 2, are there any future plans for the conclusion, like part 2. Stephen King's it, yeah opened it and it had a lesbian porn disc in there. Free Solo, where is Chewbacca? Toy Story, not all toys are nice, while I would like to believe all toys are sweet and innocent, as in this movie, I know for a fact they are not. Zodiac, they need to catch him. Yesterday, if you are a true Christian, don't waste your money, hi all. My family and I had good seat to see this movie when the Holy Spirit prompted me to check Ted Baz's movie guide review and the plugged in online movie review and both say this movie pair God's name followed by the damn word. Space Jam, Michelle Gordon has always been a hero of mine. Serenity, this was set in modern times and none of the original characters were even represented. If you are a fan of Firefly skip this film it will only disappoint you. The Silence of the Lambs, 1 star, this movie was bad because of how most of it weren't even good. Bohemian Rhapsody, he dies in the end. Cats, the musical, too many cats. Django Unchained, Donald J. Trump, Django Unchained is the most racist movie I have ever seen, it sucked. Just 4 kicks, disappointing, this movie was disappointing, the fat kid didn't fart enough, I like farting, he should have farted more often. The Lion King, not realistic, it's disappointing, animals simply don't talk or sing. Boss Baby, this film saved my marriage. Monsters Incorporated, switching from a system of exploiting children's screams to exploiting children's laughter does not make you good guys, you are still exploiting child labor, ethical capitalism doesn't exist. 7. The title is mostly accurate, the title is mostly accurate, there were 7 killings, however, the title is misspelled as 7 on my copy of the film, which is quite sloppy given the budgets major motion pictures have.